it's not just enough to go out and do the uh, the fitness promotion. And although that's important that everybody gets out and um, is physically active and, and, and promotes good health, but uh, there's a lot of people here in town that are less fortunate and don't have that ability, largely in part because they have nothing to eat or uh, money so tight that they're not able to eat well. Well, all the exercise in the world isn't going to do you any good unless you've got a full tummy and some nutritional intake as well. And we thought. What better way to promote fitness than to uh, increase the food bank lot so that they can help people who are uh, a little bit more in need and having a little bit harder difficulty. So we had uh, four teams out here participating today uh, from One to One Fitness, Red Deer Fire Department, from Optimal Fitness in Sylvan Lake, and a few girls from the Collicut Centre behind me are just practicing some of the events now. So we really wanted to take it in the direction of community, so we got on the phone with the Red Deer Fire Department. We said, hey, you know what, let's have a friendly fitness competition, uh, the community versus the fire department, and see what happens. It's a great kickoff to our, our fall fundraising towards Christmas because Christmas is one of the our busiest times of year. Food Bank is a huge, huge charity that always needs donations put towards it. So always a great time to be able to put together something like this to help, um, <laughs> to help encourage it. It's been a real blast. We've raised some great food for the food bank. It's not over. We have our service by donation day on October 5th. And uh, I learned today that if we take all our donations to uh, Shaw Cable, they'll match one for one with the donation as well as Campbell's will also match. So we're definitely going to hit our goal of about 2,000 pounds of food and hopefully $5,000 or more. What we didn't expect was uh, the, the camaraderie of the team atmosphere. The events were to be ran as individuals and everything became a team event, which is really how it should be. So it's been a lot of fun at watching teams go through the course. It's important to mention that uh, this event came together really quickly and we really couldn't have done it without our sponsors. So we got a lot of great people that have been really helping out with this event. We're going to try to make it an annual thing. We really want to get you and the community involved. So please plan to come out next year. The proposed date is September 17th, 2011. Maybe back here at the fire training grounds. I'm not sure, but it's going to be one heck of an event.